In the Flipmoons iKit, there are two kinds of map and mesh setups. The first one being VFX, which works in a more physically plausible sense, meaning that the iris is physically separate from the sclera, and we're using a displacement map, which actually generates geometry, which is really good for, for, for more uh, offline rendering, but for real time, that's not going to work. So we've made a proper game setup as well, which you can use in Marmoset. This uses a parallax map and uses a normal map to create the depth of the eye. So we have a character here, and I want to put the eyes in here. The first thing I have to do is I have to go to File, Import. Then we go to the Real Time folder, and then we choose Real Time Eyes, and we hit Open. And now you can see that we have two eyes, which have been loaded in, which are down on the bottom, like so. If the scale is completely off, you will simply just have to scale up these eyes. So we are going to be moving them into position. Something like that. So now we have the two meshes. We have the eyeball mesh and we have the cornea mesh. These are technically identical, but they have a completely different material. And that's where the magic happens. We have to bring in the two materials, which we can do by clicking on this guy here over in the materials tab. And then we go under real time, marmoset, marmoset shaders. And here we have cornea, and then we have the eyeball we want. So now we can, for instance, bring in the eyeball blue and the cornea. You always have to bring in the cornea no matter what eyeball you're, you're picking. So hit open, and now these will be brought in to the right. So now we have eyeball blue and we have the cornea. So the eyeball blue will go to the eyeball, the eyeball name to eyeball, which just makes it simple. And then cornea goes to cornea, and this is when the magic happens. So now you can see that this has been assigned. And this is where we can go crazy high up. And you can just see that this looks really good right away. If you want to have more eyes or more eye colors, you can simply import more of them. So we can change this from I will just I will blue to all the other ones. And there are fully there are six which are fully supported. So just give it a second. And now you can see we have all the other ones as well. So if you want to try the brown eye, we simply just drag the brown eye onto the eyeball. And now you can see it's brown. If you want eye brown dark, we have this as well. And here you can see this has a slightly different skill era. Different ethnicities have a slightly different color on the sclera, the white of the eye. And in this case, this isn't very white. This is quite dark and quite saturated, which works really well, really well with some characters. So all our eyes, they do ship with both the scleras. So for instance, if you want to have green eyes, can drag that over, but you're doing uh, a character with darker skin, this scalera might not work. So what we can do, we can go down to the material, hit albedo, then we can go up a few, then we can go to textures, and here you can see all the maps. We don't really have to touch these maps with underscore, they're more like utility maps. And then we have, um, the, the important thing comes in the color maps. Then we have brown, and here you can choose the resolution, uh, so in this case, we want 2K. 2K is more than enough for most cases. If you are a complete crazy person, you can go to 4K. If you really, really want to have like a space shot, like you see the galaxy and everything in the eyes, you can use 4K, but 2K is more than enough. So here you can change the, um, sorry, I wasn't brown. So here you can change the, the green eye to be 2K. And you can see we have dark sclera and we have bright sclera. It's currently using this map, the bright sclera. This is also where you can see where the normal map lives and the scattering lives as well. As a heads up as well, these maps are different for different eyes. You can't use the green normal map on the brown eyes. They are completely different where in the sense that, in the way that they've been sculpted. So really don't just mix and match them. You have to use different materials for them or different normal maps. But now let's change the dark sclera. And now you can see the sclera changes. If you want to duplicate the eyes, we simply just select the real-time eyes, the group, hit Control D. And then we can just move them over. And that's how you get really nice eyes. You can see how, how crazy well they work close up as well. So you can go essentially it's as close as you as you want to on this. Most likely, you, the problem will never be that you're running out of resolution on the eyes. It's going to be everything else going around it. So that's how you use the Flipmoms eye kit in Marmoset.